you go on in your predictions and you mention expertise will be free with AI-based tutors and doctors 24-7. And so for the abundance members here that are running healthcare and education companies, what's going to be the impact on them? Well, let me put it this way. It was 2012, I wrote a blog, or two blogs. The first one was called, Do We Need Doctors? Just to be a little con conversational. And now it's clear they will play a minor role in healthcare. They will play a role in certain levels of human connection. That'll be important. And uh, the, my second blog was, do we need teachers? And, and frankly, I just saw a piece out of uh, Beijing today about why the Chinese government is going to adapt AI tutors for kids. So this was 2012. Yeah. Uh, almost certainly, no matter what expertise you're talking about, uh, AI doctors, AI teachers, AI oncologists, AI structural engineers, AI accountants, and by the way, we're investing in all these. Any place the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics says there's more than 100,000 workers in a category, we should be investing in all these categories. Uh, so what will its imp impact be? At the level, uh, you know, you have to talk about time frames. The next five years, all of you should be thinking every single professional can, can get five AI interns. So if you're an MD, you can supervise five AI interns just like they graduated out of Stanford Medical School. If you're an accountant, uh, you, you already hire junior accountants fresh out of school. Imagine five AI intern accountants. And whether they grow up in three years, five years, or 10 years, a little hard to predict, it'll vary by category, but that's a good model to think about, first leveraging expertise. But the more interesting question that I've asked a number of boards I speak to in the healthcare business is if all expertise were free, how would you design a healthcare system? Mm. And I think that's the right question. That's the right model. That's the right model for if you're a healthcare provider of any sort. But let me go a little further and say at the national policy level, if a farm worker and an oncologist have exactly the same expertise up level to what an AI has, how do you pay people? Interesting question to ask. You've said that the most consumer, most consumer access of the internet could be agents acting for consumers. I, I don't think my agent is going to be interested in Google ads or is interested in a, you know, a TV commercial of somebody with white teeth on a toothpaste. What happens to advertising if agents are doing the buying? I actually might disagree. Okay. First, I'd say the one thing that's clear is the level of unpredictability in all this, including what I say. Okay. Like, the only that, thing we know about the future is we'll probably be wrong. <laughs> well, the only thing we know about the future is it'll be uncertain. We have to figure it out in increments. Yes. But what is advertising? It's information. Uh, to emotionally in, induce us into buying $300 pair of jeans when $30 Levi's will do just fine, that's a filter the AI can apply. So the nature of advertising, I suspect, will change to more informational, mm -hmm. which is the original purpose of ad advertising. It has switched to one of my big beefs with capitalism is... Mostly capitalism is about making you buy things you had no intention of buying. Mm. That's what advertising has become. But that's not what it was. And so uh, making people buy things they don't want to buy or had no intention of buying makes them unhappy. Uh, that doesn't add to societal good. Right. But information is valuable. Sure. In frankly, uh, I think, people will pivot into other models. I mean, ChatGPT has been phenomenally successful, uh, and nobody thought consumers would pay $20 a month. Um, I, uh, you know, look, if that was true, that's more revenue per user than Google or Facebook get. 
in fact, they should have tried this model earlier uh, if they added enough value, which, uh, you know, in the past, pre-AI, they had added a lot of value. So where will this stop? You know, the $200 a month level of chat GPT is incredibly valuable. How many people have tried it? A good number of hands. How many people have tried deep research? Yeah, it is amazing. Like, it is way more valuable. I'll tell you a fun story. My chief of staff is a PhD in viral immunology, and we were researching a particular application, like a developmental model, uh, a model for developmental biology, a fundamental uh, uh, foundation model for developmental biology. She did an 18-page report for me, including recommending what indications to go into. After she'd finished, I said, just enter into deep research and give it some time to think. Coincidentally, it came back with an 18-page report and the same two end disease indications to go after. Now, that's mind-blowing. It is. How much did you pay deep research for that? Not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> well worth it for anybody who hasn't tried it. Uh, I was just talking to the CFO of... Uh, in, in the, so I gave you a very technical example. I was talking to the CFO of OpenAI, and she was talking to a retailer. You've been a, you've been a big uh, investor supporter of OpenAI. Yeah, we committed in 2018. Yeah. And you have to believe in things, and I believed in it enough to make the largest initial investment I'd ever made by a factor of two. Wow. In 40 years of venture capital, I'd never even made an investment half the size because I was a believer. That's turned out well. Yeah, it has turned uh, out uh, well. But my, my point is, this retailer CEO was talking to her, and he s said he had just finished a large strategy review on what products to add to their retail operation. Uh, she, while on the call, someone deep research, it came back with a report she gave to him, almost instantly, tens of minutes. And he said, uh, you know, to be honest, this was a better report than my strategy team produced mm. over the last however many months. So we are at a transition point. And I think that's one of the things I, I tell people, you know, you're not using this technology even a fraction of your potential. Right? Is it open in every board meeting? Is it open in every, every executive meeting? Are you giving it the same challenges you're giving your team? Um, let's talk about... It, yeah, look, the, the other thing I want to add is the range of applicab applicability is large, from what products should a retailer add Yes. to... I was sitting in a scientific meeting uh, for a couple of days, uh, multiple uh, days, a uh, small group of scientists going after a particular topic of personal interest to me, so I sat in. And anything I didn't understand, ChatGPT was able to explain to me where I could really not only follow the conversation, but ask not-so-dumb yeah. questions. Yeah. I mean, it is a superpower. And one of the things I love, I keep on mentioning this, is the ability to ask it to look at something from a completely different perspective. Right, uh, my favorite is like, how would Steve Jobs answer this question? Yeah, uh, and we are so limited inside our organization by the knowledge and the opinions that we have in our team that why would you limit yourself in that way? Let's well, go. Well, the best example yeah. is the row thirty-seven example. Yes, of course. You know, <laughs> centuries of humans hadn't come up with the row thirty-seven example because we look incrementally about, uh, upon what others have done, not think outside the box. So that's a real massive accelerator for humanity pretty soon when AI does science and scientists and things. Do you believe that most Nobel Prizes in the future will get uh, basically derived from AI-human partnerships or AI alone? Uh, possibly AI alone. Yeah. Uh, I think that will happen. 
Now, whether us humans will allow, recognize it as such, recognize AI as winning, capable of winning a Nobel Prize, that's a human limitation. Um, but that's also true in most creative tasks. If you enjoyed this episode, I'm going to be releasing all of the talks, all the keynotes from the Abundance Summit exclusively on exponentialmastery.com. You can get on demand access there. Go to exponentialmastery.com.